on five news. Teachers to decide on GCSE and A-level results. Estimated... Also, England enters its third national lockdown. MPs of... Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Danny Sinha. It's an unprecedented era for UK education as, once again, nearly all children and teenagers are forced to switch to virtual learning. In England, classrooms won't fully reopen until at least February half term. And it's been confirmed that grades predicted by teachers will replace cancelled GCSEs and A-levels. Well, the Prime Minister has described schools as a vector for spreading the virus. In a moment, we'll be finding out more on the challenges around digital learning. But first, our chief correspondent, Tessa Chapman, has been hearing from teachers and pupils who have been hoping exams would go ahead this summer. It well, one of the huge challenges facing families who are homeschooling is access to technology. Many families don't even have internet. The Education Secretary has announced that pupils who don't own a laptop can go into school alongside vulnerable pupils or children of key workers. But as COVID cases saw, there are parents who don't feel comfortable sending their own kids back. Simon Vigar has been speaking to one charity helping to make sure no pupil misses out. The immediate need for tougher COVID restrictions became clear this afternoon as the number of daily deaths in the UK from coronavirus rose to over a thousand. That's the highest total since April. Well, MPs are due to vote on England's third national lockdown soon, but it's more of a formality as it's already begun. The Prime Minister described it as a tough final stretch made even tougher by the new variant. But some on his own side are worried they could be voting for a lockdown that could run until the end of March. Our political editor, Andy Bell, reports. Let's join Andy now. Will MPs then vote in favour of this lockdown? Oh, yes, Danny. Absolutely, Andy. Thank you. Well, the government has today vowed to accelerate its COVID vaccination programme. It comes as Boris Johnson described the rollout as a race to vaccinate the vulnerable faster than the virus can reach them. Well, Toby Sadler joins me now. And, Toby, what exactly is the government promising then? Toby Sadler, thank you very much. Coming up on Five News. Hello and welcome back. There's just a fortnight to go before Joe Biden is sworn in as US president. But current president Donald Trump is still claiming fraud, tweeting that the election process is worse than that of third world countries. It comes as the Democrat Party looks set to take control of the Senate after two re-elections in Georgia. Here's Julian Drucker. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been denied bail by a UK judge. He must remain... Millions of people are being told to shield again as coronavirus cases in the UK soar. But there are many who haven't actually stopped shielding since March. One is Christine Singleton from Preston. Her teenage son, James, is severely disabled. So last year, her family made the difficult choice to have her husband and two daughters leave home to keep him safe. They've only been able to return a handful of times since after self-isolating. Christine told Five News just how serious the virus could be for her son. Singleton family there. Now, with tough lockdown restrictions in place, it's easy to feel like life is on hold. And one major cancer charity says the pandemic has stopped people from coming forward as stem cell donors, despite the need remaining as urgent as ever. They're appealing for anyone who can help to do so. Peter Lane has been to meet one woman saved by a complete stranger who's gone the extra mile by saving two lives. And I'm afraid that's where we must end as well. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Have a lovely evening.